Now, uh, remember I mentioned about computer science and computer engineering? Now, what's the difference between computer science and computer engineering as we see it? So, we offer a degree program that is Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science, and we also offer Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Engineering. So, it's BEng, not BSc. Okay? Because we are part of a college of engineering, what we do is to engineer something. Okay? So, what do we do if you do this particular program? We will get you to engineer software systems. How to build credible software systems. We teach you. This is the thing from day one, year one, all the way to year four, right? When you attain that degree, you will be proficient in engineering software systems. Okay? So you can call it software. You know, software systems that need to be maintained, that need to also evolve as the time passes by, how do you maintain them, you know, how to service them, what the kind of life cycle issues, all these we, we will teach you. Design analysis, how do you approach it, how do you design credible software that runs better on computers. All these we will teach you. So it's an applied computer science of engineering software systems. That's what we do. Over on this side, we the very ancient computer engineering is about building a computer for a purpose. It's not the PCs, it's not the laptops, they're not the iPads, okay? They are getting into the stage of general purpose computing. But computers made for a purpose, okay? Inside a fax machine, you have a computer, okay? It must be cost effective, it mustn't drain too much power, it must provide all the intelligence. Okay, maybe inside a projector. So computers made for a purpose, custom computers. We teach you how to build a computer for a purpose. And the world is, that's where most of the processes are used. About, it's, it's been said about 98% of the processes go into computers that made for a purpose. Okay, so, so essentially there's a very clear distinction in, in what we offer. The entire curriculum, is there's a technical part, there's a broadening component, there are specialization, that applies to both programs. Okay. So let me give a, another way of illustrating the difference between computer science and computer engineering. So the computer science, if you remember I said engineering software systems, if you take the medical uh, domain, remember the hospital information system will need a software system running on the back end, right? So, if you want to develop big software systems, then you belong to this part, that is the engine computer science. Okay? Where we teach a lot more computer science component, a lot more information systems engineering, okay? and a bit of digital systems, because these days when you talk about computers, when you program them, you could also understand the architecture of computers. Otherwise, you cannot program it efficiently. So, we put a package together, and we try to ensure we deliver the, the, the courses in, in appropriate, in a proportionate uh, way so that you end up trained proper. And on this side, we engine computer engineering, you are trying to build a computer for a purpose, remember? So we want you to be proficient in digital systems. Right? So we focus more on that. We teach you some of computer systems, uh, computer science, because if you think about it, a computer, the computer made for a purpose is also a custom made and programs are running on top of them. It's a system. So you still have to program it, but if you are going to program it on a constrained device, that means the device has not much big memory or whatever, you still have to get the program running and because you're going to make it in large volume, it must be cheap and all that stuff. How to do this? Okay. So then we will essentially be teaching you um, that and, and for this we need a different. So, we mix and match in different proportion to give you that different focus and expertise as you graduate. But not only that though, what's happening in the world is that on the left hand side people build the software systems, on the right hand side people make a computer for a purpose, they have to communicate to solve a problem. Right? So if you take a simple analogy, if you take an email server sitting somewhere, and your Blackberry or something sitting on your pocket, you can see they have to communicate, right? The big system on the back end with the handheld devices have to communicate to make sure emails arrive on my phone, okay? So the world is no longer one big system solving problems. 
is a combination of big computers and large number of small computers connected to solve one problem. Okay, so that's the world is going. So you must be aware of both sides. Because of this, we give you that kind of a sharing of expertise as we train both degree programs. Precisely why we have the first year is a common first year for you. All right. So you will experience all the common courses, and you can choose to switch depending on what your interest is. Okay. So this is how we have defined it. We're extremely happy because we got full five-year accreditation um, um, late last year. It's a full five years for both programs, and they were very happy uh, when the accreditation board visited us. So this is so we can see we, we understand it because we are the experts in both computer science and engineering. So we, we see it. That's what we do. Just to illustrate this, you can see hospital information systems will be you know perhaps interacting with biomedical devices. Maybe hospital information systems will be interacting with devices and sensing devices at home when you are being cared for. Remember elderly care and so on. So big systems and number of small systems all connected to give you that better home care. That kind of a world is what we are moving to. Okay? So you need to immerse yourself, specialize in one, but we become aware of the other, then you are better positioned for the future. So we go through the three years, and the fourth year we have specialization. And this we were able to do, we have excellent professors. Okay? And you can, when I designed this program, or when the committee went about designing this program, we had this kind of agility in mind. We knew our field will evolve. Now you can see, for example, because remember the cybersecurity research you were doing? Because of that, we managed to mount an information and cybersecurity specialization for you. We could do that in the fourth year, and you take a selection of courses to specialize. And that's giving you an identity when you go to industry, say, I got, you know, you know, specialization in a particular field. You can create a great identity. Or you can choose a combination of courses and still graduate. Or you can specialize in network and mobility, for example, or high performance computing or whatever. And this is the agility about the program. We can mount and keep that content very current for you because you are part of a research intensive school. I think that's, uh, that's why I dressed it up by saying, you know, we are not mediocre people, we are regarded very high, we do cutting edge research, but we also make sure our, our standing also contributes to excellent curriculum and teaching. Okay? So that I wanted to share. 